logical reasoning question number 1 select the odd one out option a is ice cream b is burger and c is pizza where d is it's a some drink so in option a b and c all are solid foods whereas in option d it is a drink hence d is the odd one out option d is a right answer question number 2 dash groups of 3 deer each can be performed sorry each can be formed from the given deer so we have to make a group of deers which contains 3 each contains 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so six groups of three deer each can be formed so option b is the right answer question number 3 which of the following options will complete the pattern in the given figure so this is the figure just go through it and you have to find out which pattern will complete the given pattern it's option a will complete the pattern of this figure question number 4 how many mangoes are there in the figure just count how many mangoes in the figure yes it is it was 13 hence option d is the right answer Question number five. Nimit's birthday falls on second Saturday of November, twenty X X. On which date is Nimit's birthday? So this is the calendar. First, we have to mark the second Saturday. So this is the first Saturday, and this would be the second Saturday. So on second Saturday, the date the the date is it's fourteenth. Hence. um the date which nimit's birthday falls on 14th november option c is the right answer next section science question number 6 susant has made the following table about characteristics of living and non living things but he made a mistake identify the mistake and select the correct option so some characteristics are given here we have to find we have to find out the characteristics of living things and non living things first we'll find out everything breathe yes the characteristics of breathe so living things all living things will breathe no so it's correct only and non living things own breathe it is also correct then feel yes all living things will feel whereas non living things don't feel then reproduce all re- all living things only reproduce right all living things will reproduce but here it is given as no and it is given as non living thing will reproduce so this statement is wrong then grow yes living thing will grow and non living thing won't grow so this is correct so where the susan has made yes in reproduce the characteristics reproduce he marked living things won't grow he marked like this So, so option the statement r becomes false right so identify the mistake so where he done a mistake in r hence option c is the right answer then question number 7 we eat different parts of different plants study the given classification chart and select the correct option to fill empty spaces d and e So this is the flow chart. The flow the flow chart as given in the name of edible parts of the plants. We have to find what is D and what is D. So this type of question. So from the option only we can able to find the answer. So first we'll move on to the option. D is carrot. That means the edible part of the carrot is root, and the edible part of the broccoli is flower. Okay, here itself we got the right answer. Hence option A is the right answer. So no need to go through the option. If you want, means you can rest of the option also. You can check, no problem. Yes, radish is a root, right? Where cabbage is a flower. No, it's a vegetative bud. Option B is wrong. Then again, you can see option C is uh, the edible part of the carrot is root, correct? But the edible part of the onion is flower. No, it's a bulb. 
then ginger no the edible part of the ginger is not a root it is called a stem so here itself it's wrong so option e is a final answer it's correct then question number 8 which of the following statements is correct all living things are natural and option b all non living things are man made and option c all living things can move from one place to another then option d all non living things can grow and increase in size so option a is the correct only is yes, all living things are natural and all non living things are man made no because some natural non living th non living things are also available no so so it this statement b is a uh, false then all living things can move from one place to another cannot because plants trees can't able to move from one place to another then all non living things can grow and increase in size it's totally false all non living things because some non living things are man made that cannot able to grow and that cannot able to increase in size in its own right so option a is the right answer question number 9 Ravi saw a plant in his garden which had beautiful flowers when he tried to pluck a flower his finger got pricked the plant could be the hilia jasmine rose marigold the plant could be it is a rose because the rose plant have a some prickles on its stem right so it may hurt him in his finger hence option c is the right answer question number 10 read the given sentence aditya wore his sweater when he felt cold this sentence indicates that living thing things options a grow and die option b reproduce option c can feel option d need air food and water so according to the sentence indicates that living things right so according to the living things the, all the given options are correct only but the sentence shows aditya wore a coat sweater when he felt cold that means aditya feels something cold so the sentence indicates that living things can also feel hence option c is the right answer question number 11 which of the following is both plant and animal eater an animal which eat both plant and animal eater called as a omnivore called as omnivore so which is omnivore here it's option c bear question number 12 which of the following is the part of a plant that bears a floating leaf a plant which contains a floating leaf means it must be a aquatic plant right hence option b lotus have a floating leaf hence option b is the right answer question number 13 select the correct match animal and their young ones are given here elephant cub lion calf and dog chick horse a foal so we have to select the correct match option d horse and their and its young one is called as foal option d is the right answer question number 14 sia pad one living thing and one non living thing together but in doing so she made an incorrect pad select the incorrect pad bad and mountain both are living and non living option b fish and clock is yes, one is living thing and another one is non living thing rose plant and a cycle rose is a living thing and cycle is a non living thing whereas d is river and book river is called as a non living natural thing and book is a non living man made thing hence uh, d is a right answer for this question question number 15 which of the following rooms is used for cooking food is yes, option c is a kitchen question number 16 i live in a shed who am i option c option c is a right answer it's a cow lives in a shed 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन ऑल द गिवन एनिमल्स बिल्ड ए होम टू लिव इन एक्सेप्ट डैश स्पाइडर बी मंकी एंड बर्ड ऑप्शन सी मंकी डिड नॉट बिल्ड बिल्ड ए होम टू लिव क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन रीड द गिवन पैसेज यू कैन गेट एन इलेक्ट्रिक डैश इफ यू टच प्लेक पॉइंट्स विथ वेट हैंड्स do not play with knives and blades you can get a dash select the correct option to complete the passage so you can get an electric shock so p must be shock so do not play with knives and blades you can get a cut so which will be the answer it's option a shock and cut is the right answer question number 19 refer to the given picture of aman aman should go to dash bank post office hospital library so this is the given picture just go into the picture as yes, the boy aman has fell down he got hurt so he must go to hospital option c is the right answer Question number twenty: Who among the following children is or are likely to get hurt? Sheena is playing around the swimming pool. Samir is walking on the footpath. Amira is putting her hands out of the window of a moving car. Okay, who will get hurt? Is yes, Sheena? She is playing around the swimming pool. and amira is putting her hands out of the window on moving car so we should not put our hands put our hands out while the car is moving right while the vehicle is moving and you should not play around the swimming pool because it must it may be a wet wet for it may have right so seena and amira may get hurt so option d is the right answer question number 21 Which of the following statements about the moon is correct? The moon does not have its own light. The moon has air and water on it. The moon reflects earth's light. Rotation of the moon gives rise to day and night on earth. So which is the correct statement about the moon? Yes, moon does not have its own light. Hence option E and hence option A is the right answer. Question number twenty-two. Unscramble the following to find out the name of a deep hole hole dug to get underground water. So what we do, if we want to get underground water, we'll make a deep hole dug, right? So that is called a well. So anyhow, if you know the answer, you can directly go. Otherwise, you have to unscramble all the letters. So the first one, it is tank. Second one is its bucket. and third one is it is dam and option d it is a well so our required answer is option d well is the right answer question number 23 which of the following activities can be done with the help of yeah options are blowing up a balloon washing dishes washing clothes and mopping the floor so which activities can be done with the help of the floor yes it's option a blowing up a balloon so to blow a balloon we want air right so the help of air only we can able to blow a balloon question question number 24 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option column 1 i give you heat and light yes in column 2 earth star sun and moon so which gives us a heat and light yes it is sun so for this is answer is in column 2 it match with the answer 3 i go around the sun you live on me so the which one is go around the sun and live and you live on me it's called as earth so one i appear to change my shape every day you see my in the sky at night the 
it is called it's called a uh, earth so it's four so our record answer is for a it's three and b is one and c is four it's it's option b is the right answer question number 25 select the suitable heading for group x and group y so in group x it is given cow horse sheep group y dog cat and rabbit okay cow horse and sheep is called as what it's it's called as a farm animal right it is called as farm animal and group y it's called as a pet animal dog cat and rabbit are called pet animal hence option d is a right answer question number 26 deepika's sister's son is her da dash options are cousin nephew niece and brother yes deepika's sister's son so son is it's a male so sister's son we call it as a we call him as a nephew option b is a right answer question number 27 the weather forecast of a day during a particular season is shown in the given picture we should wear dash on this day what is the image denotes yes it is a cold weather outside the symbol represents a cold weather so on cold weather what we, we what we wear usually yes we wear a sweater so we should wear sweater on this day option b is the right answer question number 28 which among the following has more year its option a is the right answer Question number twenty nine. Select the correct statement. The sun shines brightly on rainy days. It gets hot when the snow falls. It is very cold in the spring season. The trees shed their leaves in autumn. So we have to select the correct statement in this question. So which is the correct statement? The sun shines brightly on rainy days. No. Then it's um, sun gets hot when the snow falls. Its statement is wrong. then sun is a very cold in the spring season no so which is the correct answer yes the trees shed their leaves in autumn autumn season hence option d is the right answer question number 30 rithvik was drinking hot chocolate on a winter morning he observed x over the cup what is x so you can see this is the x what is it, it is a smoke or it's a water droplet it's a water vapor or ice crystals yes it's a water vapor option c is the right answer achieve a section this section contains five questions each carries two marks question number 31 four seeds p q r and s of the same plant are sown in four different parts each of the part is treated differently as shown in the table which of these seeds will be able to germinate this is a seed p q r and s and some properties are given here air water and sunlight so these three properties are main thing to germinate a seed this is a main requirement to germinate a to germinate a seed let's see the p, the seed p which is exposed to water only it, uh, it is not exposed with air and sunlight and seed q this is exposed with air water and sunlight whereas the seed r is exposed to only air and sunlight and the seed is exposed seed s is exposed to both air and water but it does not exposed with sunlight so what is the main requirement to germinate a seed it needs air water and sunlight so, yes the seed q only will able to germinate hence option a seed q only is the right answer Question number thirty-two. Binny did a study on two animals, X and Y. At the end of her study, she made the observation as shown in the given table. Select the option that correctly identifies animal X and Y. So first, we have to find what is animal X and what is animal Y. For this type of question, from the option only we have to, we from the option only we have to 
solve this problem so first option is beer beer makes its own home no yes so here it is correct only beer does not makes its own home right then beer lays eggs no it does not lays eggs it is also correct but beer animals beer eats only other animals no beer can eat a plant also because it's a omnivore but it is given eats only other animals so here itself the option a is wrong so no need to check the animal why then option b butterfly again you have to go go to the table and you have to match all the observation butterfly makes its own home no butterfly lays eggs yes but it is given in two because that means butterfly does not lay eggs it is given like that so option b is also wrong here so no need if, if the first uh, animal x is wrong means there no need to check for animal y also then option c lion lion makes its own home no yes it is correct lion lays eggs it does not lay eggs it is also correct here then animal eats only other animals yet it's a carnivore it is also correct so according to her observation animal x is a lion then you have to check for animal y also crow crow makes its own home yes it build a nest crow lays x yes then crow eats only other animals no crow, crow is also a omnivore it can eat it can eat also plant it is also correct only that means eat only this is a keyword it eats only other animals no yes this is also correct so according to her observation bini according to her observation the animal x is a lion and animal y is a crow hence option c is a right answer question number 33 arav made a list of ways to save water as given here the question is which of these ways is are incorrect the first statement take bath from shower rather than from bucket or tub so this is wrong according to save water then turn off the tape while brushing your teeth it's, it's correct use a bucket of water and sponge to clean the car so this is also a correct statement according to the statement to save a water then fourth prefer washing fruits and vegetables in running water instead of bowl of water and this is also a wrong statement then use watering can to water the plants it is also correct and which statements are incorrect option statement 1 and statement 4 option d is a right answer direction question number 34 and 35 refer to the given word great and answer the following questions Question number thirty-four. Few objects are hidden in the given word grid. How many of them are found in first aid box? So this is the given grid. Just see the uh, arrow mark. It shows the arrangement of the words. Right. That means from left to right, and another one, and, and some words will be in the from top to bottom order. Right. yes so we have to find out what are all the words which is hidden in the in the given word grid which is used in first aid box one is ointment and the second one is scissors and one thing is bandaid so we can able to find three words not more than that in the given grid yes it's ointment option b is a right answer question number 35 the meaning of each of the following root signs is hidden in the word grid it's it's a hospital so hospital sign is nothing but option b so this is the hospital sign hence option b is a right answer 